Whenever you go on detailing groups, you're always going to be bombarded with the same old questions, such as what's the best shampoo, what's the best wheel cleaner, and you're going to get overwhelmed because everybody's got so many different opinions. However, whenever someone says to you, what's the best wax for dark coloured paintwork, 99% of the time there's only ever going to be one answer. This is Fuso Coat. It's a wax made up of a blend of fluoropolymers, which gives you up to 12 months protection and up to 20 applications. So it's fair to say you won't be needing to buy any more wax for a very long time. So in the UK, we can finally say that spring has arrived and what better time to get out there and give your car a nice deep spring clean. I mean, after all, the weather's looking pretty good. Wow, this weather is utterly grim. Okay, it's diabolical, but I can assure you the good times are coming and the good weather is going to be right around the corner. And this time of the year, when we've got longer daylight hours, there's nothing more satisfying than getting out there, you've got a lovely sunset and you're waxing your car and you've got good temperatures. You just can't beat it. So for those of you who want to know the difference between Fuso Dark and Fuso Light, well, there's not really a lot of difference. If I'm brutally honest, they're pretty much the same product. However, the darker one has more fillers, which means it's going to be more beneficial for those of you who've got black cars or dark blue cars and you want to hide up some of those swells for a little bit longer. However, Fuso Light is going to be able to have more paint cleansers, so it's going to give you a little bit more of a nicer finish on your white car. But I've got to be really honest with you here. There's not many people who are going to be able to tell the difference between which wax you've put on. You could put both of these waxes on a car and unless you're a professional you're not going to be able to tell the difference so don't go spending hours going oh shall I go for that one or that one it's not going to make a lot of difference both of these products are still going to be able to give you the same durability and pretty much identical gloss so I have been testing this for the last couple of months and it's fair to say that I've really enjoyed using this wax I think you're going to find it's quite an easy one to work with provided you follow a few of these simple steps Number one, make sure you clean your car in the shade. It's got to be nice and cool. You can't go doing this out in the direct sunlight. If you do, it is going to cause a million and one different problems. You're going to be trying to buff it off. It's going to dry too quickly. The surface temperature of the paint is going to be too high and you're probably not going to get the same sort of experience that you would have hoped. Before you even get started using this product, make sure your car is properly prepped. So even if you do a chemical decon or a full decontamination with a clay bar followed by a machine polisher, that's what you're going to need to get the best results out of this. But we understand not everybody's going to have those tools at their disposal. So the best thing I'm going to advise is go for a chemical decontamination. And I will put a link to that video in the description below. Also, you get one of these sponges with the wax as well. So you need to make sure that you give it a good rinse out under the tap and wring it out. So it's damp, but it's not soaking, if that makes sense. Make sure that you do not apply it too much. It's only got to be nice and thin. Remember, you want to be able to easily take this off. If you clog up that pad and you start clogging up the paintwork as well, what you're going to find is when you go to take it off, you're just going to be spreading it around and around and it's going to take you so much longer. So keep it light, keep it simple and you'll have no problems. So the best way to work this wax is not to do the whole car and leave it. That's not going to work. You need to do a few sections at a time. For example, if you're doing the bonnet, split the bonnet into four and work on each corner at a time. But then leave the wax on for about five to eight minutes, depending on temperature. And also work in crisscross motions, but don't go so long. Just keep it short and sweet so you're getting a nice even coverage over each section that you're working as well. But when you're doing it, don't rush, just take your time and you'll get those results that you really want. And trust me, it's so rewarding. If you rush this process, you're probably not going to be happy with the results. Just take your time, focus on what you're doing. And trust me, at the very end of it, you're going to get to see something really special. So when it comes to buffing off, it's nice and simple, but don't just rely on one towel, okay? So fold your towel over, do your section, but don't rely on that one towel to do the whole car. You're probably going to have to get through maybe two Maybe three if you want to do the wheels as well. And that brings me on to the next subject. You can use this wax on the wheels and it will give it a fair amount of protection. Okay, so I want to talk about something that nobody else has ever mentioned on a Fuso Coat video. And that's how much money you can make from using this stuff. Now, bear in mind, if you're a business, most of you are probably going to be doing this on your own. You're going to want to try and make as much money as possible because you're a one-man band. So what do you do? 
your do up cells. Now this is a premium wax. It's not a standard one that you're gonna charge an extra five pounds for because people will think, oh, it makes your car look nice. No, because this has got that 12 month durability up to 12 month durability, you are gonna be able to add such a premium on this one. And we're not just talking a couple of quid, we're talking around 50 to about 80 pounds as an upsell. Now bear in mind, if you've got 20 applications, that's gonna be a lot of money you are gonna make just from this one pot of upsells alone. Now, if you can bang out loads of them, let's just go on a hypothetical basis here that we're gonna be doing, say one of these a week at 50 pounds, that's 200 pounds a month. That's nearly two and a half grand in a whole year just from using one of these waxes as an upsell. Now you have to be very consistent and you do have to push, you have to use your business brain to get those sorts of clients in. But if you think smart and you work smart as well, you're gonna be able to make a pretty damn good amount of money from it. And here's the thing, not everybody can afford a ceramic coating. If you think about this for a second, ceramic coatings are normally starting around 350 pounds for the average mobile car valeter around the UK. I know it can vary, but with one of these, charging it at between 50 and 80 pounds, you're gonna be giving the client another thing to think about. Yes, they want the sort of glossiness that you would get from a ceramic coating and the protection, Granted, it's not gonna last as long, but they're still gonna get the same sort of experience. So if they like it a year later, they're gonna use you again. So eventually, if you did it over three years, yes, it will be exactly the same as a ceramic coating. Granted, you have gotta go back and do it two more times, but that's not the point. Clients get through cars all the time. They don't stick with the same car for a lifetime. Well, not in my experience with my clients anyway. So I now have started to add this wax into my business and I'm getting a lot of people using it at the minute. It's definitely one that I'm gonna keep going on with because I am starting to make a little bit of extra money and it does build up over time. So I'm really chuffed about the wax. It's not just for those of you who want to clean your car in a weekend. Let's be very clear about that. Traders need to get on board with this straight away. So I wanna hear feedback from you guys and I want you to let me know in the comments section below. If you have this wax, what are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think could be improved on it? And for those of you who've never tried it before, let me know if you think this is something you're gonna be trying down the line. So these aren't the only products that I'm gonna be featuring on the channel from Soft99. We do have a fair few more right around the corner. As for me, stay tuned because I've got a brand new video coming in a couple of days time. I'll see you later, bye bye.